Daenerys leads the remnants of her Kalasa across the Red Waste, hoping to find shelter in the far lands of the East. She tries to feed her newborn dragons, but they refuse the raw meat she offers. She regards the dragons as her sons. The mare Drogo gave her as a wedding gift dies of exhaustion and Daenerys decides to send her three bloodriders, Ricaro, Ego and Cavaro, with their remaining horses to explore in three separate directions, knowing that they are her last hope. She then stares at a red comet in the sky above. Elsewhere, at Winterfell, Osha believes this comet is, in fact, an omen for the dragons owned by Daenerys. Daenerys and her Kalasa lie exhausted in the heat, their water dwindling as they wait for the return of her blood riders. Ricaro's horse returns riderless and Sir Jorah Mormont discovers his head and severed braid in its saddlebag. He surmises that Ricaro was caught and killed by a rival Kalasa. Iri is devastated by the death and believes the mutilation will prevent Ricaro from entering the Nightlands, the Dothraki land of the dead. Daenerys promises to hold a funeral for Ricaro and burn his body, allowing him to join his ancestors in the Nightlands. Ergo's fate is unknown, but Cavaro returns with an invitation from the great city of Carth. Daenerys leads her people there, and is disappointed at the lukewarm reception she receives. She is denied entry by the ruling council, the Thirteen, unless she shows them her dragons, which she refuses to do. When it seems she will be turned away, the Carthine dignitary Zaro Zoan Daxos vouches for her and her people, against the order of the Spice King. Daenerys and her surviving people are made guests in Zaro's lavish home. She begins to teach her dragons to cook and eat their own meat, and slowly begin breathing fire on command. She suggests to Doria that she use her skill as a lover to find out more about Zaro, who happily agrees. Their host holds a reception for Daenerys and she is introduced to Pyat Pri of the Warlocks of Karth. He demonstrates his magic by replicating himself and invites her to visit his order at the House of the Undying. Zaro suggests that Jorah has feelings for Daenerys, but she denies this. Zaro shows Daenerys the Valyrian stone vault that guards his fortune and offers to fund her return to Westeros in exchange for her hand in marriage. He relays news of the death of King Robert Baratheon. Daenerys seeks the counsel of Jorah. She is eager to seize the opportunity, but he counsels against entering Zaro's debt. He reveals the depth of his feeling for her and his hope for the ruler that she will become. She agrees to take the harder path that he suggests but does not acknowledge his affection. Later, Daenerys tries to negotiate with the Spice King for ships to return to Westeros. However, he considers it to be too risky an investment, considering that she has no army and has no open supporters in Westeros, and she receives nothing. She states that she will take what is hers, but the Spice King remarks she will have to do it without his ships. Daenerys unsuccessfully appeals to more of the merchant nobles of Karth to lend her ships. After the meeting, she returns to Zaro's home, to find that it has been attacked. Half of her men have been brutally murdered. Iri is dead, and Doria and the dragons are missing. Unbeknown to her, Doria has taken her dragons to the House of the Undying, due to an alliance with Zaro and Pyat Pri. Zaro hosts a council of the Thirteen so Daenerys can appeal to them for aid. During the meeting, Pyat Pri reveals that he was responsible and Zaro announces his intention to seize control of the city, as the new king of Karth. The warlock uses his magic, creating thirteen duplicates to murder the rest of the thirteen. Daenerys flees, but Pyat Pri appears to them, only to be stabbed through the back by Jorah. The stabbed Pyat is revealed to be another one of the duplicates. He repeats his invitation to Daenerys, telling her that her children are at the House of the Undying. They take refuge in a disused courtyard, where Jorah advises Daenerys to leave her dragons and flee Karth, as he has recently booked passage to Astapor. She insists on attempting to reclaim them and asks Jorah to lead her to the House of the Undying, without knowing what lies in wait. Daenerys arrives at House of the Undying and is magically separated from Jorah and Kavaro. She finds herself in an empty circular room with many doors. She chooses one and opens it. She is presented with tempting visions. First the snowy, ruined throne room of King's Landing where she turns away from the Iron Throne. She then walks through the gates of the wall surrounded by more snow, and into Drogo's tent. She finds Drogo and what would have been her infant son Rago. They talk about whose dream they are in, and Daenerys silently leaves after touching Rago's hair. 
she returns to the room with many doors and finds her dragons chained to a pedestal in front of her. Piat Pri appears and explains that she and her brood are the sources of his restored magic. Daenerys is also chained by Pyre's magic. However, the young queen is unconcerned and simply regards Pri with a cool, almost lazy gaze. She calmly utters a single word, Dracarys. After a couple of tries, all three dragons unleash their fiery breath, and Piat Pri is incinerated. Daenerys knows that Zaro has betrayed her. She returns to his palace to confront him and finds Doria in bed with him. She takes his key and uses it to open his Valyrian stone vault. She is surprised when it is empty but observes that this proves something can easily come from nothing. On her orders, Doria and Zaro are locked into the empty vault to die, their pleas cut off by the closing door. Daenerys salvages enough from Zaro's household to buy a ship. On Jorah's orders, the Dothraki sees Zaro's golden jewels while Daenerys triumphantly watches with her three dragons.